Hi, Chris Bolton here. Uh, I'm a member of the Tennessee Valley Lego Club in Huntsville, Alabama. And I am currently working on a little project. Um, a lot of folks are familiar with the uh, Constitution train uh, from the Lone Ranger series. Uh, the locomotive is uh, very popular. Um, I got uh, the locomotive right here. Uh, let me just show you. Locomotive is uh, right here. It's a traditional uh, 460 style locomotive. Um, real nice looking locomotive. But unfortunately, Lego didn't see fit to make this a powered locomotive. So, what I've been working on the last few days is actually to build a 460 locomotive. Uh, and you can probably hear it running in the background. Uh, that is similar in scale and size to the uh, Constitution, but that uses actually a geared mechanism and in, uh, a power functions end motor. Uh, it's not completed, so it's not perfect yet, but it does run pretty good, and uh, it's running right now. So I'm going to switch out and uh, show you what that looks like. And there it goes. The... Uh, Prototype 460 locomotive. You can see it running around. It's uh, it's got lights on the front, uh, though they're not permanently mounted. Um, you can still see how they work. We'll slow it down here, and uh, uh, as if I point the the infrared remote at the train. So we can take a little closer look at the train. We'll shut the lights off too. Um, you look down inside. You can see that I've mounted the um, the end motor right down inside, right down in there, and it's got a geared mechanism that runs the uh, the driver wheels. Uh, there you can. It's it's primarily black color scheme. Uh, I have a black smokestack for it and everything too, uh, which it should be pretty popular with anybody who may have had the ghost train or the um, Constitution, because either way you could do a similar type of uh, configuration. We'll move it forward a little bit here. Uh, I'm working on a tender design. I, I think I'm going to end up going with the uh, 8800 or 88000 series uh, battery box, the AAA battery box, but for now the AA battery box is powering the train. Um, you can see where I've mounted the IR receiver in the back and I have to finish the top of the cab here. I think I'm going to end up raising the IR receiver just one more so that possibly two more uh, plate heights so that the top of it is flush with the top of this. Um, but it did, it's come out pretty well. Uh, it still needs a few embellishment parts. Uh, you can see the uh, way I did the um, the boiler is a little different. I've got to fill in the sides, and I'm planning on putting uh, some cross pieces here to make that look nice. But uh, it's come out pretty well, um, and uh, it runs pretty well, too. That's reverse. And let's send it back forward. Doesn't seem to have too much of a problem at all pulling those cars. I'm actually planning on adding a couple of more of the Toy Story vintage cars to it as well. Make it a nice locomotive and set. So there you have it folks. This is my work in progress 460 locomotive uh, that will replace the uh, Constitution and actually be a functional locomotive. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll have further updates later.